Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Rondi here with our 30-day shape-shifting challenge follow-up tip two. So I see that you guys are still working this program. I am so proud of you and grateful to you, of course, that you're still doing it and you're still sending me the feedback that I need. I will be advertising it shortly and bringing on a lot more people onto it. But right now, it's just so awesome that you guys are doing this and I am grateful to you. So what's a quick follow-up tip to add? Some of you, you know, sometimes we have days where it might be hard for us to really get into our shape-shifting. Maybe we come home from work, the boss was a jerk today, or you were overwhelmed, or your kids were screaming, or they were sick, or whatever the case may be. You may be tired. Something can be stopping you from really fully getting that emotional shape shift of what it is you're trying to create or how it would feel if you could have those things that you want. You just might be too tired or frustrated because of things going on in your life. We don't want that to happen because when that happens, there's a greater chance that you'll stop doing the program. And so what you can do to help you, if you're having a difficult time actually getting in to that shape shift space, the thing that you can do to help yourself is to listen to a song that makes you feel that way. You know, I love Missy Elliott's WTF song because I not only is it like it's got a really good beat and it makes you want to move, but like many songs of that genre, if you listen to them, they are talking about how great they are. She's talking about how she's got hips that were made for spanking and She's got a butt that makes the boys collapse and she's just gorgeous and she's wonderful and she's rich and she has all these things. And when I listen to that song, I'm right there with her. I feel like I've got hips for spanking and these great boobs or whatever it is that he's talking about and 25 cars, all these cars and wonderful things. And, you know, and a lot of those songs are like that. They make you feel like for that moment, because when the artist does those songs, they, um, and the artists do those songs, they are actually putting that emotion into the song so that we feel it and so that we're going to dance to it or respond to it in an emotional way. So I tend to like to listen to those kinds of songs where they're just wonderful, where they're just fabulous. I love Pharrell in that song because he is just the optimist prime and all these things. And I'm like, yeah, me too. I, I'm that way too. And it just raises up my vibration it makes me feel like I am just like they are. And so you can pick a song that brings out that particular emotion of what it is that you want to come out of you. If you like love so if you're trying to bring love into your life, listen to a song that represents that type of love that you're looking for, that brings that emotion up in you so that then you can help you to emotionally shape shift in that way. If you're looking for a song that makes you feel wealthy or prosperous, I personally represent some of the um, various rap songs out because that's a lot of what they talk about. How much money they have, how many cars they have, how many girls or how many boys they have. Whatever song resonate with what it is you are trying to accomplish. Listen to that song before you do your shape shifting that will help you to bring that in. Or if you're not a music person, you can watch a movie or a piece of a movie that can bring that out in you. You know, like the um, fighting movies like um, Rocky or there's another one. I just can't think of what the name of it is with um, Wesley Snipes. Undefeated, you know, in that scene where they're fighting it out and you can just feel like you're in the ring too. I know a lot of guys will do that. They'll watch a fighting movie or Kung Fu or Bruce Lee and they come out like they're fighting. They come out of the movie like, yeah, that's me. 
whatever it is that can help you watch a movie or even a snippet, you know, I don't have time to sit there for two hours, but if there's a particular scene that you um, respond to, watch it. If there's a song that uplifts you into that emotional space of what it is you're trying to accomplish, listen to it. If you're a bookworm and there's a certain book that you read, you're looking for love and you love romance novels, and you're reading this book about the, the, the hero or the heroine in there, exactly what you're looking for, read it. Read a passage of it. Bring that energy up, and that can help you with your shape-shifting practice. And then once you get that energy up, that particular emotional um, shifted energy up, that's when you can go ahead and start incorporating what it is that you want to get your subconscious to understand exactly what it needs to change to, what it needs to be projecting and broadcasting for you. So that is your emotional shape shifting follow-up tip number two to help you to become an even stronger shape shifting manifesting superhuman person that you are. So please subscribe to my channel. Please share my channel. Um, please visit my website if you want to talk to me or set up an appointment with me. Just put in goddessrhonda.com and my website will come up. Or you can um, just hit the contact button if you want to ask me a question. Shopping card if you want to set up an appointment. Or you can just join my um, email list. Also, please don't forget, and I should have my book right next to me, but I don't. But please, you've seen it in all my other videos. Please don't forget to check out my book, You Are Not Broken, which can also help you to um, shape shift and manifest your life in a custom way just for you. So with that said, thank you so much. I'll be back shortly with tip three. Namaste and blessed be. Thank you.